Hi guys, it's Ben here, back in front of the camera for the first time since Liverpool's 3-2 win over Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. That's a game I was at. I never got a chance to do player ratings, but I hope you have checked out the day trip from that night uh, or that evening, the whole afternoon in which it was you know, great fun. The fans are in full voice. This was a much improved day compared to the Tuesday night game we went to at Leicester uh, in midweek when we lost 2-0 in the Carabao Cup. We crashed out there. So both day trips are worth checking out, guys, if you haven't already, as we close in on 2,000 subscribers. But for now, we have to look ahead to our second game in the Champions League campaign. This one's against Spartak, Moscow away from home. And having drawn against Sevilla in the opening game of this group, this one, considering this is probably the weakest team or one of the two weaker teams that we're going to be coming up against, this is very important that we pick up some points here. At least one, but I think three is pretty much a must. Uh, that might be a slight exaggeration given the fact we'll still have four games left, but one of those are going to be in Seville, one of those are going to be away to Maribor. This feels like the easiest one, or like I say, one of the two easier ones away from home. So this is a side that have been struggling in the league themselves. I think they're in mid-table, something like 14 points in their first 11 games, so they're not in the best of nick domestically. We're going to be going there after that huge, huge win against Leicester, and it is a huge win, regardless of the fact that we conceded two and were shaky at times and gave away the penalty and rode our luck. It was still a huge, huge win for confidence. I thought Jordan Henderson, it was his best performance of the season by an absolute mile. He led. It wasn't just his, his passing and his tempo that was back. He was right in the referee's ear from the off. I, I could see it from my position. I think Mark O'Brien two or three times kicked the ball away. Um, obviously a tactic Shakespeare had given Leicester um, to employ against us. And Henderson was having absolutely none of it. He was in the referee's ear the whole game. Um, and that was, that was a theme that continued. Day and Lovren chipping away at the referee after he should have got that penalty. Those, those sorts of things stick in the referee's mind. Uh, and that's the sort of mentality I want to see from this side. We've often been criticised as being too nice. And I've sort of seen that myself. We don't crowd around the referee, we don't even talk to each other enough, we're not angry, we're not shouting, we're just too easy to roll over. Uh, and that's where the defensive mistakes come from, a lack of confidence in the side. That looked like it was there. They've obviously had a big bollocking from Jürgen Klopp, and rightly so. It was four pretty dreadful performances uh, before that, but always put right. And now all of a sudden, as long as we can beat Newcastle at the weekend, our league campaign would have got off to an OK start. And that would be two points a game from the first seven games, an OK pace to be going at. That's the pace we were going at last season. We finished on 76 points from the 38 games, and that would lead us nicely going into the international break and then into United at home on the 14th of October, which of course is the big one. But the task in hand is Spartak Moscow. Obviously, I know very little about this side. Um, if you look at their current squad, there's very few recognisable names there, a couple of Brazilians that we might have known from a couple of years ago, but it's not a force to be reckoned with at all. Um, Obviously, they drew their opening game, as did Dustin Sevilla, so the group's still wide open in that regard. We have to go here and make a statement. And with Sadio Mane back in the side, with everyone back to full sort of confidence, um, the mood around the place is going to be much more positive. I think we can go ahead and get a result. So let's look at the predicted lineup. Loris Karras will start in goal, as he did against Sevilla. He had very little to do in that game. Another chance for him to impress in a pretty difficult situation here out in Moscow. Um, I'm sure it'll be hostile. Uh, it's not a situation he'd have been used to. So there you go. He's going to start in goal. Trent Alexander Arnold will come straight back in at right back. Gomez obviously played at the weekend. Could have done better for the second goal. Uh, but Trent comes in here. Gomez suspended, of course, from the red card against Sevilla. Gomez has done okay as of late. It's still very much up for grabs. The first right back, right back position. But as we've seen with Jurgen Klopp, uh, it doesn't necessarily have a first eleven. You can never really predict. He's not got a league eleven and any rest of you in the cup. Uh, doesn't necessarily prioritise one or the other. It's very, very fluid. Um, so you might see Henderson miss a league game. You might see Chan sit out uh, a Champions League game. Well, you know, vice versa. It's very unpredictable, but we do know here that Trent will start. I think he'll go strong. The fact that we don't play again until Sunday, there is decent time there to train in between this and the Newcastle game. So I think he'll stick with Matip and Lovren, try and cement that partnership. Uh, Gary is obviously being suspended, helps that cause. He won't be playing at centre back in Ragnar Club and you know, he's obviously there if we need him, but I think he'll go over Matip and Lovren to try and solidify that. And I think Moreno will keep his place at left back for this one again, seeing as Sunday is the next game, there'll be plenty of time. Uh, now midfield is where I think we might see a change. I do think Henderson and Chan will both play. Uh, we need to be solid out there. Uh, but I think Coutinho is going to drop into midfield in place of Wijnaldum, who I think might be given a rest ahead of his return to Newcastle this weekend because Sadio Mane obviously needs to come back into the side and I think he will start. Him, he'd be chomping at the bits playing this one. Him one side, Salah the other, Firmino up top. I mean, obviously the, the, the pace on those wings speak for itself. I think we'll have plenty, plenty in attack to trouble these guys. We should be romping past these. In my opinion, I think we're going to win by... 
four goals to one. I can't see us not running right over in Moscow. We will concede the odd goal because that's what we do, but I think we're gonna have too much in attack for them. If you've got any insight into Spartak Moscow, how they play, then do feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on them. Am I underestimating them? But as far as I'm concerned, this is gonna be a comfortable win for Liverpool. I thought we would be severe in the opening game. We bottled it, we dominated the first half. Should have gone into the break, feel one up, and for me, I missed penalty, but never quite happened for our second half. Uh, let's hope we can actually take our first half performance into the second half this time. It's something that didn't happen at Leicester in the League Cup, something that didn't happen against Burnley. It kind of happened against Leicester on Saturday. I thought we did okay second half. We battled, we dug in, got that great goal on a counter-attack, so we, it was much improved. Let's hope we can carry that into Tuesday. Let's hope we can carry it into Sunday, and let's hope that that little patch of four games without a win was just a blip along the way. I obviously wrote the season off. I still don't think we're going to win the Premier League. I think both Manchester clubs are too strong. I think Chelsea are looking pretty good too. So, the Champions League campaign, you know, let's see how far we can get. Let's see how well we can do in all competitions. You know, winning a trophy will be tough, especially now we're out of the League Cup. Is the FA Cup our best hope now? Probably. But we need to go as far as we can in Europe. Let's make sure we're not knocked into the Europa League, because we know how much of a pain that can become. You get an extra round, you're playing Thursday, Sunday. And for some reason, that just seems to affect teams. So, let's get through this. Let's beat Spartak Moscow away from home. Leave a comment with your score prediction, your predicted lineup, any other thoughts you might have about Leicester. Obviously, I didn't get to see my player ratings there, because I was out and about in Leicester. Um, the busy weekend and all that. So, sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed this one though guys, please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. We're closing in on 2000, so if I can get to 2000 after this video, that'd be absolutely superb. Thank you all for watching all this time. It's much appreciated. Appreciated. Make sure you follow our other socials too, as Ben might say, on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I shall see you after the game tomorrow.